Okay, dear students. So let us see what is there in this question now. Two forces act along a straight line on an object that is initially at rest. One force is constant, and the second one is in the opposite direction and proportional to the velocity of the object. So time and again, IB has asked the similar questions. Uh, they have asked questions on a force which is directly proportional to the velocity and which is always opposing and always retarding. So because it is always acting in the opposite direction. So this force is basically a viscous force. Very less books uh, for the IB, they teach viscous force because this is not actually there in the topic. But even then, IB asks questions from this, this topic. So it becomes very important for us. Now, there is a general formula that F is directly proportional to V. So the formula that we derive later is 6 pi eta r v so ib students need not to venture into this much detail uh, this much will be the suffice i will say uh, 6 pi is a constant eta is coefficient of viscosity r is the radius of the spherical body and v is the velocity with which it is moving so uh, this is the force that is applied now this viscous force is found to be directly proportional to the velocity and that is what is given in the question because it is a viscous force it is acting like friction and so that is why this force will be acting in the backward direction now a constant force is applied in the front direction and there is a uh, backward force which is in the opposite direction so what is correct about the motion of the object obviously when the velocity is zero like when t is equal to zero the velocity is zero now, if the velocity is zero, it means that the viscous force will also be zero. So, this force, under the influence of one particular force, uh, the velocity will increase, the body will accelerate, and the velocity will start increasing. But after some time, the velocity will be equal to a specific value of the velocity, which is known as terminal velocity Now, what is this terminal velocity? It is the final velocity that will be attained by the body. And at this velocity, the viscous force becomes equal to the applied force. This one. So, both of these forces, forward and the backward, both of these forces become equal to each other. Because under the influence of one particular force, the body is accelerated and the velocity is it keeps on increasing. And after some time, both of these forces are equated to each other. And from there, we find the magnitude of the terminal velocity. Fine. So it means, now afterwards, now when these two forces are equal to each other, what is the net force on the body? Zero. And because the net force is zero, the acceleration will be zero. So the velocity will stop increasing. So your graph will be somewhat like this. So this is the velocity and this I can say is time. Fine. So the velocity increases from zero to a maximum value and then it becomes constant. So this is the complete topic. Now this is called Stokes law and the topic is viscous force. So with this, all the best dear students. Bye.